Uh, for the first time, let me now unveil Xbox. When the original Xbox launched back in 2001, Halo Combat Evolved was the release title and arguably the selling point for the console. It was often referred to as the biggest Xbox exclusive, but there was some fallacy to this statement. Halo was never a sole exclusive to the Xbox. In fact, it can only be considered a timed exclusive. Because on September 30th of 2003, the game was also released to the PC market. You might think that Halo was always meant for just Xbox and PC, but again, there is some fallacy to this statement. Because a version of Halo was once in development for one of the Xbox's biggest competitors, Nintendo. More specifically, the Nintendo DS. There's pretty much no knowing of when this project began development, but one can assume that it was around the time of Halo 2, since the gameplay of Halo DS bears resemblance to Halo 2's gameplay. Though the game might resemble Halo 2, it was not based off the same engine, probably because the DS wasn't powerful enough to run it. Instead, the game ran off a modified version of the GoldenEye Rogue Agent engine, which as seen in the footage, ran pretty smooth. The game was seemingly in its alpha phase. The map Zanzibar was playable, fully textured and optimized. From the footage we see, the game had two weapons, the SMG and plasma rifle. Again, fully modeled and with sound effects. It's pretty fair to assume that the game had other weapons, but just weren't shown in the limited footage that was released to us. The game supposedly also had working vehicles. Unfortunately, this hasn't been confirmed because there's no footage of it. But we can see that the player was about to board the Warthog before the footage came to an abrupt end. Speaking of the footage, let's review it. We have three clips each showing different elements of the game. The first of which shows the menu. They're not very clear so I might get back to them in the future. But we can see that the upper screen shows the logo while the lower screen has all the navigation options which include single player which is probably with bots. I wouldn't imagine this game had a playable campaign. The multiplayer and the model viewer which I think is pretty awesome. Sub menus for single player and model viewer are not known unfortunately. But we do know that the submenus for multiplayer would give you options to either host a game or join a game, which was probably LAN and not actually online. That's all we have on the menus. As I said, I might revisit them in a future video and redesign them in high definition, so leave a like if you'd want to see that. So now let's move on to the elephant in the room, the gameplay. And here it is. We can see that the gameplay is very much the same as Halo 2's which again, suggests the game started development around that time. The guns seem to be fully projectile based rather than hit scan, even for the SMG. And they also have a generic crosshair for old weapons rather than a unique reticle. Though that's only due to the game still being in development and would have definitely changed if the game continued development. As far as the HUD goes, the top screen had no HUD elements other than the score, whereas the bottom screen shows the shields, but not the health bar. There's the concerningly sized minimap, the zoom toggle, the grenade count, and on the right and left bottom corners, it shows the weapons that the player is wielding in each hand. And there were two methods of aiming, stylus and thumb. The stylus mode would let you use the stylus on the lower screen to aim, but as for the thumb method, nothing is known. Well, there it is, Halo DS, and everything we know about it. Quite an odd choice of a console to put Halo on, but then again, the DS was a huge success. I'll see you later, so stay macho.